Hey guys, well it's that time of year again. CHRISTMAS! And as such, I am totally hunkered down and ready. I have my... Christmas candle here. I have my... Christmas cake. And... I've got a big spoonful of a great Christmas classic to enjoy. Kanakamatsu's My Santa. Let's watch it together, shall we? And reminisce on the days gone past. My Santa. Oh god, I just lost my Christmas spirit. I've always wondered during what phase of a person's life does he or she stop believing in Santa Claus? When they're four years old? Maybe five? Because as we all know, our entry into adulthood in society is determined completely by when we stop believing in Santa. Well, this series is about a kid who doesn't like Christmas. He's a lonely, miserable bastard who loves telling you that, even though he lives in the biggest apartment in Japan. Having an entire cake and no one to share it with is lonely, which made Christmas even lonelier. If you're a good boy, Santa will come. That's what my parents told me as they left. They also said if I was a good boy, they'd come back home. So I was, but nothing mattered. The brighter the holiday candles shine, the darker the shadows that fall over me. After ripping off Kingdom Hearts, he proclaims, Santa Claus doesn't even exist. To which he is immediately propositioned by none other than the actual Santa Claus, conveniently played by a teenage girl. Uh? Come on, just one night? After saying nothing, she gives him the normal reaction. Ah, don't you lay a hand on me! You filthy boy! I'm not that kind of girl! Okay, hang on. So that scene went exactly like this. You think you'd want to spend the night with me? Just one night? Uh? Ah, don't you lay a hand on me! You filthy boy! I'm not that kind of girl! Women. Okay, here we go. We finally get to find out exactly why he is so unhappy. I mean, the being alone thing is one thing, but that doesn't bring someone to Scrooge level Christmas hate. It's because yeah? I was born on December 24th and was given the name Santa because of it. Are you happy now? Wow, man. I, I mean, it wasn't even Christmas and they called you Santa? I could understand the name Eve or Last Minute Rush, but Santa? What about Nicholas? Chris? Those other things that people call Santa. And this name is why you're so mad at Christmas? At least you can still write your name pretty easily in Japanese. Well, after that revelation, this girl named Mai says that after one night, she can make him believe in Santa, Christmas, and all that good old holiday spirit. Santa Girl apparently also has one ability, to make anything appear, as long as it has San at the start of it. Just like Santa. San-ta. Get it? Because it has San in it? Obligatory cosplay and otaku photo shoot, misunderstood gangs, and a sunba line. What the hell am I watching? Anyway, we finally make it back to their apartment where we get the assured Akamatsu scene, the shower with accidental naked peak, now with 30% more nipple. Santa starts going on about how his parents were never there, which I'm totally sure is not for a good reason or anything, and it won't come back to make him feel bad later. Santa? Don't you have any friends? Sure, I have a few, but they're not that great. They're the kinds of friends who always want you to take their picture, but they never want to see any of the pictures you took that didn't focus on them. They'll just end up taking advantage of me. Oh, so now his friends are assholes, too. Wow, how could this not get any worse? Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! After some underage drinking and the bit about the cute girl who can't cook you see in every other series, we reveal Santa's crush. And by reveal, I mean we never see her face. Santa, do you know what the true meaning behind Christmas Day is? Oh, oh wait, 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 I, I noticed one. Uh, it's the birth of Ra, right? Yeah, of course. It's the day Jesus Christ was born. Oh, don't tell me this anime is going to start getting all preachy on me. Everyone is either getting gifts from Santa or going out on dates. But what they are actually celebrating are the birthdays of you and Christ. Uh, of course, it's the birth of Santa. Well, everybody celebrates that, except for the infidels and, you know, those who don't believe in scantily clad blondes in Santa suits sneaking into boys' rooms at night. With the Christianity push over, it's time to show how to spread happiness. <laughs> ah! What are you doing? It's happiness. It's magical to share happiness with someone, and I just shared mine with you. His crush calls, to which Mai says the call was all a trick to make him happy. 
He gets angry, says she's unusual, to which she gives the most shock answer and the most stock answer to any romantic comedy at Christmas. Everything I did, all of my hard work was so tonight you could be happy. You're all I've thought about since I met you. I did this all for you. Because I fell for you. I fell in love. We have to back up here for a second. She pops up out of nowhere, out of the blue on Christmas Eve, follows him home. Can't believe him, he's such a liar. Well, fine. If he doesn't think he needs me to make him happy, I'll just stick to him like glue until he finally decides to cheer up some. Showers, gives him cruddy food, hangs up on his crush, and then proclaims her undying love for a guy she met a couple of hours ago. Now, this is the moment where I'm going to have to ask you to put yourself in his shoes. What would you do? Follow the lead on the crush who may have called, or follow the crazy chick. I don't understand any of this. Magic? Santa? Well, he picks the first option, goes to the party, finds out that they've been celebrating his birthday without him every year, but he just forgot about it. Just go with it. He realizes he was wrong to go for the girl with presumably no face, and has to wear my is, because he knows where she is, apparently. You're so dumb! I gave you my happiness power to help you with her. It was a perfect opportunity for you, you know? I'm going to return your magic. <laughs> this unleashes transformation sequence with 40% more nipple and a reindeer who eats the guy's head. I mean, look at that. He ate his head. Merry Christmas indeed. My, you really are Santa Claus, aren't you? Yeah. I can still only make things with Son in the name, but because you believed in me, I'm going to make you something very special. Oh, I can't wait. What could it be? A Stanny PlayStation? Sonosuke Sagara? Well, that will have to wait, since she has some presents to deliver, and the big parental revelation where we find out his parents couldn't be with him because they were helping out other kids. I love you, and I'll always think of you. Now, you be a good boy. I know everything, Mom. You don't have to explain it to me like this anymore. I've grown up a lot over the years. It's hard not seeing you, but that doesn't mean I don't understand how you feel. Just turn around. Just turn around, turn around, turn around. It's time for you and me to see our star. The star that shines eternally for us. This is it. Our star. Uh, that's quite clearly the moon, dude. And what do you mean eternally? And how do they deliver all those presents in one night? Well, with an army of slaves, of course. I, I see the chance of a harem anime coming out of this, but given Akamatsu, that's expected. And that, boys and girls, is how Santa learned the meaning of Christmas. And they all live happily ever after until the next episode. Santa! I used up all my magical powers last night, and now I don't have any way back home! What do you expect me to do about it? I'm just a normal guy! <laughs> Well, overall, it isn't the most, the worst Christmas special ever. I mean, it isn't hugely obscene, although I can't see anyone watching it with their parents. It has some okay values it's trying to say, although the way they're trying to say them are a little weird. It's the kind of comedy and writing I expect from a pre-Love Hina era Akamatsu. Heavy on the girls, partial nudity, slapstick, and possible harems. It's exactly what you would expect, but I can't put this over any other Christmas special. And that sucks, because I am a fan of Akumatsu's good stuff. So instead this Christmas, spend time with your family, and remember what Christmas is really about. Everyone is either getting gifts from Santa or going out on dates. Thank you, and good night.